Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on ClickSense. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how data model works in this tool. So let's start today's tutorial. In order to give the demo, we have created four files, country, customer, product and sale. So let's see what data it contains. So in the country table, we have the countries such as the United States of America and India with respective code such as US and IND. The other file that is the cells contain the product ID, product number and its cells in billion. For example, product ID ABC 101 or product number 101. It has a sale of $30.6 in billion and similarly for other products. R right now we are not sure whether the product ID or the product number is associated with the respective product. So we will see shortly. The next uh, table contains the product name and the product ID also associated customer ID. So that means customer 1 is buying normal buys the Nike product with the product ID 101. So similarly other products have the associated the product IDs. So now I can see the product ID is related to the product number in the sales table not with the product ID column. So how this relationship will be detected by the tool. So we will see that too shortly. Now we have the customer table which contain the customer name, customer ID the customer's phone number and from which country that customer belongs to. Okay, so let's see and import all this data in our tool. In order to do that, let's create one project. So let's click on the create a new app, give the name such as model demo. Click on the save button and open that. Whenever it opens it will ask us to load the data so here we have the data load editor also we have the direct data load so we we'll click on the direct data load and it will ask us what kind of data files you have suppose you have the de delimited file or you have any other file format you can use it let's use all file format so i saved the data in uh, the drive inside training let me go to that and click data and model. So what I'll do, I will drag this. Let me and click. So I can see there is country and country name can be loaded. I will make prepared data. So sheet 1 is added. Let me add the remaining tables also. I am adding the country data. Let me do the prepare data also. Similarly I will add the other data such as product. I can see the customer ID, product name and product ID. I'll click on the prepare. I'm not loading right now because I'm not sure what the relationship it has in between those. So let's see how tool works, whether it's able to determine that or not. So I loaded four files. Okay. So let's click on this file. And at the right hand side, you can see the sheet 13 or sheet 11. So if you want to see the data in this so you can see the ABC 101 it is the product ID the product number and it's a sales similarly sheet 1 sheet 2 likewise we can see the data at the right hand corner you can see associate the data accordingly to the recommendation so if you click that so it is automatically links the data. That means 
how the data is related so it will create a model it is not conventional data model okay what we do in the database modeling it is it is on top of that the tools generates it's an automatic relationship between the tables based on the what is the column names if the column names are same okay then it will try to achieve that relationship now there are some cases where the column names are same but the actual values in the columns are not associating then it will try to find out the any other column which have similar kind of values and try to achieve the relationship so let me go back no association okay so what it says uh, you can suppose I want to remove this relationship so just click on that and move away from those uh, uh, some uh, those models so it will deassociate now suppose I this is the customer data and I would like to know where it is related so whether it's related to one of the sheet or not so if I click if I move on that so it become red so that means the sheet 1 teeth or 1 3 and sheet 1 is not related with each other if I go on 1 2 it is not it is not so so the two columns are not identified by this uh, uh, entities but when I click on this button it will identify and it associate so let's see one more time okay it is associated okay so customer 1 2 contain the product ID and the customer 1 3 uh, contain the product number so th the first sheet it is uh, for the customer ID uh, we have the customer ID product name and product ID from the sheet 1 2 and from sheet 1 3 we have the product ID product number and the sales in billion so these two tables are interrelated with the name product ID and product number the third sheet that is 1 3 sheet contain the product ID the same column as like the first uh, the sheet but the values inside these columns are different and the tool identified that and it created that relationship so that is the reason now the product and sales table interrelated now let me click on that and let's see if I try to able to create this relationship now let me we have the customer ID and product let me try to do that so I can see from my uh, table this is like customizing the relationship if I'm not able to identify relationship then you can identify here so I will cust ID from my first sheet and from the second sheet I will use the cust underscore ID and let's associate it so now I can see so the, the cust ID from the first sheet is associated with the cust ID second sheet so that is done similarly I will add the customization relationship between these two entities from the first sheet I will use the country code let me see and from the second also I will use the country code and associate it now the relationship get achieved so sometimes it automatically detect and sometimes it don't if we don't want this relation should should be created then you have to just make uh, away from that let me join again country code and country and associated so this is the simple model it get created you can see the what what are the column it is associating and then after that once you done with the modeling part uh, then you can customize the column names also for example if I choose this and uh, let me okay so not at this level you have to choose the particular table and let me see pending and edit button is there and suppose I want to give country display name 
you can give any name and then it is a save similarly I will modify the other section also let me go back so let me go and customer let me edit that so custom ID looks fine customer looks fine let me edit this phone section I'll mention as a phone number you can give any number or uh, any name save it go to the tables again and let's update this sheet let me edit it want to give the name of the sheet as uh, suppose this is product product ID okay save it so by that way you will able to um, change the name or you can visualize better way so this is country no need to change anything in the country let's go back to the tables let me add the customer quickly so it's uh, this click sense is very powerful tool means to determine these models because by looking at the spreadsheets it's very difficult because there are only four spreads spreadsheets available but in real time it could be a more so uh, here I will change instead of product I will make sure it's a product number let it associate and save it and let's go in the association section so now I can see the data in better way okay uh, then let me show you some interesting things you have the edit button means that means what are the model demo you gave if you want to change your title of your project you have the opportunity to change just click the edit button here and give any name and also the description in the edit section if you want to change the color or font so suppose background color you want to change to blue and suppose something like this font color if you want to change to very dark colors yeah you can do that uh, app theme if it is click sense classic or standard which you do you want do you want to left or right and you're done I think and just click on the same so go to the tables and go to the section so this is the product this is the sales this is customer and this is country so you can see the data and associated model so let me go back and click on the load data so it will the load data for us so it loaded the data for the, all the four tables and you can go and edit the sheet so you can see that now it's looking little colorful than the normal right so let me add one sample bar chart and let's see how it looks oh it's colorful so I will see the sales by con uh, actually we have the relationship between product and related to country okay let me see the customer from the country let's see how that looks oh uh, there is no relationship available so let me see that how this can be okay or otherwise we can go and click on select and delete let me add another bar chart the product and customer 
add dimension so we have the customer and we have each customer is buying one product okay that's fine it should be one and one okay so you can see this customer this is sum of products and here is the customer ID we have the one two three four as a customer ID and uh, each customer how much they are buying it is mentioned and the sum even the data is not appropriate but you can use the you visualization tool to do that so similarly you can load the data and you can create the charts based on that data so this is demo associated only with the how to create models or how the model works in the ClickSense. I hope this tutorial is going to help you to understand the modeling in the ClickSense tool. Thank you for watching my video and if you want these files, the sample files I am creating to try at your end, just let me know or you can mention in the video section, uh, comment section of this video. Thank you for my watching my video and have a nice time.